Well, all right, all right, all right. And welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Genix podcast. I'm Sean. That over there is Brian. What's up, everybody? All right. And back again with us is our good buddy, Joel. Hey, hey, thanks for having me back again. Yeah, man. So happy to have you back. And guys, we finally made it to the very end of Acolyte, and everybody is thoroughly disappointed. Except for the Shields, who will claim it's the best Star Wars ever. I have actually heard that. And the people that just stopped watching, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, there's so much to talk about, guys. So without further ado, before we get to that, guys, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave us a comment. We want to know what you think about this stuff, too. Not just our thoughts. But anywho, yes, the Acolyte, which is that that, that is the name of the episode. Well, I don't mean to step on Joel's stuff because he likes to talk it's about fine, it. fine, man. So it yes. is. Set him up. <laughs> but, um, I mean, honestly, thoroughly disappointed because they planted seeds of stuff in there and, like, just left you hanging. I realize this is the end of the season. You know, if it was a good show, you would take all of it and go, wow, I can't wait to see uh, the season afterwards, second season or whatever it is, yeah. you know. Um, but I really didn't think this was going to get a second season. So I was kind of hoping that they would kind of tie this stuff up. And then uh, honestly, all they've done is open up more questions. Agreed. And so much extra time they had for this episode compared to their previous episodes. And they just wasted space again. They're the worst about just consuming time. It's awful. Well, it's can... one of the things they do. Uh, another of the things that they do is the copy edit at a copy edit pace. Um, I was going to mention uh, overuse of the scoring throughout this has been a blessing and a curse. That's kind of one of the reasons that you didn't pick up on the motifs that we had mentioned in our previous episode. Yeah. But it's just like you're actively tuning it out as you watch because it's ever present. And it's sad because if they would have put any thought or money into that, it could have been beautiful. Yeah, it just it missed in so many areas for me. And it was just so, so ridiculous with some things. And then they got a hit on their themes and, you know, and uh, I don't know, just complete loss. And, you know, we're going to we're going to explore, you know, each each thing that really got on, you know, our nerves. I mean, just, I, th I thought some stuff, just, just as an example, like I felt like I was playing the old Nintendo super Nintendo with that <laughs> ship that, uh, may was in, it was like damn star Fox all over again. Uh, yeah. I was like, Jesus, you know, honestly, it was the best looking ship I've seen. I just do want to mention like the entire premise of this whole entire thing. Touches on something that I've been interested in writing before. I don't really want to put any of that out there, but suffice to say, it's the worst of mashups between like Jekyll and Hyde, Star Wars, the OC, and now Futurama. Thanks, Amnesia. <laughs> they borrowed from everything. They did, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, it was just, it was bad. Right. Bad. I've said that so many times throughout the eight weeks. This will be the eighth time I've said that. It's bad. Yep. But anyway, before we got yeah. more. Yeah, we got to just let Joel loose and start getting into the meat of this thing. Yeah. So, Joel, man, let's let's kick it off, man. Start us off. <laughs> All right. Kicking um, the show. Yeah. Last episode, uh, Sean asked, uh, is that power that Andar has like Bastilla? Now, uh, I have an answer for you. So, Bastilla Sean is a KOTOR reference. Uh, if you right. want to know more, check out the story of Bastilla Sean and Darth Revan. Um and I can show you. I got a picture over here. Here's Bastilla right here. Um, Bastilla's rare power was called Battle Meditation. Battle yeah, Meditation was, that was a, it. a force ability that was considerably uh, used by her to boost morale, stamina, overall battle prowess type of thing uh, of the allies around her. Uh, even uh, it, it could simultaneously reduce the option, I mean, uh, the opponent's uh, combat effectiveness, effectiveness by eroding their will to fight. Uh, it could also be used um, to demoralize. Uh, and battle meditation, it wasn't exclusive to just her, but it, it it was brought up here, you know, early battle meditation was used to influence whole armies and fleets of ships to, yeah. uh, to win wars. And uh, a lot of this can be found on Wikipedia uh, if you want to read more about it. Uh, as a nice connector note, since I spoke about the, the book last episode, first appearance of the use 
uh, of Battle Meditation appeared in the Heir to the Empire book, and that's the right. Timothy Zahn uh, book. That the we great trilogy about. by Zahn. Yeah. It is. Uh, and he, it, it happens when Grand Admiral Thrawn uh, explains a theory to why the Battle of Endor was lost. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't I don't think this this was the power used by Endar in the last episode. No, uh, but it is it is it's it's close. a little similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's close. Yeah. But uh, KOTOR itself is, is set 4000 years before the original Star yeah. Wars. Fight, Long uh, time. Yeah. All right. But that that's it from the, you know, the the pre. And now here comes the the last time, folks, to one one more time around. The Acolyte, Episode 8, aptly, eight. oddly named The Acolyte. Air date was Tuesday, July 16th, 2024. It had a 46-minute runtime, and IMDb never disappoints. Confrontation and revelation await. All right? We don't get a lot of that, but right. good, good for them to say that we did. Yeah, um, no doubt. We're going to talk about the, the bleeding of the crystal, which is a, a pretty big point there. Uh, but I'm going to take you back a little bit to Vader bleeding his crystal and uh, how this all <laughs> how this all started and then yeah, how, the point where we of this is we don't particularly think that this went over very well because it should have been a lot more uh angst and and uh evil and hatred and corruption and just you know it, it should have been a very arduous test that's the word i'm looking for arduous task to complete and bleed word. a crystal and this was way too easy agreed yeah yeah, she kind of got away with murder, but uh, uh, it, let's let's go. Here, I'll show you this picture. This is from the comic book, and, and I'll read you this bit while this is up on the screen. Vader uh, bleeding his crystal was a failure several times. Before he actually got it done, a uh, lot of hatred was needed to focus on this crystal to do this. OSHA had nowhere near the hatred of Vader's right. level to make this happen. Uh, George had the the Sith back, back then, back in classic, stick a synthetic crystal crystal from a certain planet into a furnace and then concentrate fear and hatred into it for an extended period of time to make it red. The crystal was removed in the saber from a saber, like in the 2023 uh, Jedi survivor video game. I got a picture of that, right? Yeah. Let's put that up. And uh, in the, in the video game, it, it, it does go through how much effort he had to do to, to make it turn red. And it, it wasn't easy. It didn't just happen right. automatically. And there was some disassembly. I got a picture. There's a picture of the disassembly and him doing what he did with the crystal. But again, this is in a video game. So seeing it in live action for the first time, and there's a lot of that from Headland. We're getting a lot of, <laughs> yeah, let's just insert this because we can. We've never seen it before in live yeah, action. Yeah, she's like trying to be a pioneer with all this stuff, yeah. man. It's falling right. flat on there's its face. There's a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, now I'm going to tell you this part. OSHA does not even break a sweat to have this occur no. uh her saber uh turning colors while it's on that's not in canon so that was just made up and yeah. then um anything prior to this no, nothing like that happened you had to disassemble the saber you had to get the crystal out you had to do some concentration on it or you had to you know put hate into it um osha is obviously more powerful than any other Jedi before her and will be until Disney <laughs> Star Wars makes a more powerful female Jedi in the future, apparently. And yeah. and that's, you know, <laughs> I I don't know. Maybe maybe they're going to have some kind of time travel where she fights Rey as the next plot line for the best movie ever at this point. I can't tell you. Uh, I don't unless know what's they fire happen. their DI uh, team, too. Yeah, it will definitely be a woman right. for sure. Right. But there's a couple of points that, that some people uh, – might want to know uh, the original, of course, is the comic. So let, let, let's stick with let's stick with the original canon first. So this is the original. This is the Darth Vader comic book. And it has reference material as well. Uh, Palpatine sends Vader to kill a Jedi and then bleed their crystal. Um, and something is said in here in, in the comic that it says the saber of a Sith is not given. It is taken right. now. This is not a canon per se reference. It is a fan made up idea that all Sith have to do this in the comic series. It was just a thing that Palpatine wanted Vader to do uh, at the time in this show in the Acolyte. The stranger asked uh, May 
to kill a Jedi without using a weapon. This would somehow lead to the bleeding of the Jedi's crystal when May obtained it. Uh, this is, of course, a made up thing by Headland. And then the force choke bit happened. And when that happened, that is the killing without the weapon. So just sticking the bleeding in, I don't know that that, uh, I, don't, I don't know that it needed to be there, but whatever, you know? I just, the, the only thing that, Run through my head with that is Usul no longer needs the weirding module. Every I time know they it, right? Without a lightsaber, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, and he splits. Yeah, he splits fade apart on the ground. Right, yeah. yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah he yeah. rips. He rips. Uh, Manny does that whole uh, Return of the Jedi scene that the Emperor says to Luke too. Right. I mean, word for word, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, since you're probably not going to get it from Headland, I'll let you get it from me because I don't know if you're going to read the comic or not. So here you go. The sequence of events for uh, bleeding a lightsaber in its original form. Uh, Vader lost his lightsaber on Mustafar. Mustafar. Uh, Emperor gave him the task to kill a Jedi, retrieve their kyber crystal. The Vader killed the Jedi master. Uh, his name was Kirak in file. Uh, Vader then had to return to Mustafar, uh, which was the site of his greatest failure. Um, he then attacks the crystal using the force to put all his anger, all his fear into it. Just, just immediately the force. And he fails multiple times trying to do this. Right. The, Important the, part. Right. Yeah. yeah he fails and he fails and he fails. Uh, and then finally he, the force, uh, I guess via the crystal is in turn showed Vader a vision of his future and how he was going to return to the light side again. And then Vader refused the vision and the crystal gave way Vader's hate and everything took over and drained all the crystal of its color and turned it the blood red that it is. So that is the origin as but short and sweet. I mean, the, the comic book goes into much bigger detail and is, as you can see it, well illustrated bright colors and everything. It's really probably it worth, worth the read if you're going to see it, but it's actually called Darth Vader is the name of the set of comics. If, if you're looking for it, we can go into the step-by-step -step of the, of the saber, but uh, I mean, it, it, this is going to, this is what, <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> so here's here's what you ended up with, and just just to see how all this gets butchered, and why 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 do you make the ma fandom mad? Because you do these kind of things, and mm -hmm. uh, you're not gonna you're probably not gonna learn from them. So here you go. Uh, first off, uh, I'm just wanting you to know the lightsaber did not get damaged in the uh, in the fight with the stranger. The lightsaber got damaged when. And uh, boy, I hate my, May, <laughs> May in the space fatigues, throws the lightsaber at a piece of metal in the ground or yeah, over here on the ground. And she doesn't hit it at the end of the saber. She hits it at the middle of the saber. So bad continuity already. Uh, and then it lands on the ground. And uh, this is soul right here, I think. And then it lands on the ground. It's not hit in the middle. It's hit on the end. And then you'll notice the crystal is not poking out. That crystal right. is right there. Yeah. And it's in the saber. And I was like, all right. And then the next shot here, you see the crystal is not poking out. It yep. is still in the saber. That's Nothing's right. happening here. In the <laughs> saber orifice. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So <laughs> Nothing at first, to see here. <laughs> yeah, it's not cracked in the right place. And the crystal's not poking out. Well, she lightly, and you go back and watch the scene. She lightly picks up the saber, lightly picks up yeah. the saber and somehow I guess rattles it like a spray can. Cause I don't know, but this happens now. The crystal is yeah, and it's all poking up. out. Oh yeah. It's all poking out the hole and it's up and it's hitting her hand. You can see some, some veins here going on and you see the bleeding start to occur. And I, yeah, was I like, saw that and I was like, well, what the heck, man? Like uh kyber right. crystals don't stick out of the lightsaber hilts. <laughs> right. right. Got it. Uh, you know, who knows? And then you can see half, oh, half the thing is bleeding. That's not how this works. That's right, not how any right. of this works. No, 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 this works. And it, <laughs> it, this is like literal blood is what it's starting to look like right. covering this crystal. Yeah. And so you, this yeah, is like kinda... you say, you see the little veiny thing right there in the webbing of her hand too. Right. right. Yeah. So I, I don't know if that's, I don't know if they put that in there or that's her hand. I mean, Surely who knows? Not. Yeah. Who knows? <clears throat> anyway, right after this, uh, you, you of course get the wonderful out of canon uh, picture, which is 
now she's ho- not holding it where the crystal was, which is on the edge. She's holding it at the back, and the crystal is changing the color of the uh, saber. So I was like, all righty, because uh, I think, you know, stranger comes in to, I guess, comfort her is what it looked like, and then she gets violent. Yes, and I was like, wow, okay. Transforming. Yeah, it's transformative. <laughs> there you go. So it converts to a red saber, uh, you know, just uh, out of nowhere. And I'm like, all righty. Personally, I got the sense that he was trying to cause that just in the way that it was set up and whatnot. Right. But I mean, this could have been telegraphed. Though. Look, this could have been yeah. done so much better. And right. it's been it, although it has been done in the video game and it's been done in the comic book and from George. And I'm thinking, wow. OK. And then, we, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't really show it to you, but but it, uh, Sean may may want to tell you about it a little bit. Uh, he can describe it. But they're in unused footage, cutting room fo- floor footage. This goes all the way back to Luke when he's building a, a saber. And, yeah. And the, the talk of it. And and, you know, it's a scene. People would have been very. This is, again, a throwaway thing. Let's just insert this and throw the the fandom Nothing. Let's throw the fandom absolutely nothing. And you're going to get that a lot watching watching all these episodes. And for some people, this means nothing. For us that pay attention and enjoy it, it whether it's the gear or the mechanics or the ship or the – I mean, any of it. I mean, it's – it's we're not catered to. And on purpose, I think, at this no, point. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. I was going to say, just like as far as – that that is concern. I I think we all agree. Time is always an issue with this new IP from Disney, right? Yeah. Uh, they Kenobi could have been beautiful with three seasons. Oh, yeah. um, you could have done so much more with everything else, and and that's the problem here. You know, I would have loved. You could have interspersed so many scenes throughout, like whatever, however many seasons this have of like trying to bleed the crystal, of like being frustrated with it and not getting it right, and. There's a lot of fertile material there, but people don't want to take that up because it doesn't fit the action style. It's not like a, a hit every second, right? Absolutely. I feel, now like, we have, go ahead. I feel like they were given the remit to make a movie back in the day. Right. And it was all laid out in a movie. And then Disney changed their mind and said, no, 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 we did, we want, we'd rather have it be a TV show. And yeah. so she was like, oh, shit. And then just like literally just took what she had and made it spread out over eight episodes. And that's why there's so much just filler, so much right. cut and paste. You know, it's just, I totally believe that's what happened. Because we, if you remember how all this changed, Obi-Wan was supposed to be a movie and then it became a series. So why wouldn't this, fall, you know, been the same way? There was a lot of that going on. They kept, you know, changing their minds about everything. After Solo, it was on, man, because Solo ruined it for everything after that. And I, I like Solo. I think it's a fine movie. I don't know why everybody has such a problem with it. But uh, other than the fact that it should have had a good sequel because it left right. a, a great ending for us to have a good sequel. So, you know, but yeah, after that is when Disney said, oh, my God, we, we did horrible with Solo. So everything's got to change. And that's why we got everything we got afterwards. Here we are. And one last note to the uh, lore for the folks that are, you know, from a better time, you know, when we enjoyed Star Wars a little bit, it was a little bit different. Uh, From the lore perspective, there is the actual opposite of this that can happen, which we have not seen yet, by the way. We haven't seen yet. I'm sure that they'll ruin it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they'll ruin it if they can. I'm sure they they will. Uh, But uh, uh, let's go to picture. Let's go to this one. There we go. So this is Ahsoka and her two uh, sabers and Ahsoka sabers are actually pure white uh, due to Ahsoka healing the red crystals from uh, Inquisitors. Inquisitors, and when you got to see the Inquisitors in the Ahsoka series, but she basically took the Inquisitors' red crystals and uh, then she did the opposite. She healed them, so it made her. That's why she. That this is why she has pure white lightsabers, nice. which is kind of a rarity because you have to. I mean, you got to take it, so you got to get it. So it's a, it's an odd thing, but uh, it's part of the lore. And maybe they'll mess with it, and maybe they won't. Maybe they'll do it some justice. I doubt it. But uh, yeah. yeah, you know, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. So Darth Plagueis. This is uh, Wikipedia. And then I can blow it up. This is their current page. And this is a picture from the show. As you can see, he died in 32 BBY. This is their current page. This is what they have up. 
Uh, well, back in the, you know, I don't know, back in the day, three, four weeks ago, <laughs> right. I, I took a lot of screenshots cause I, I knew I had a feeling things were coming, but, uh, I, I'm going to, I'm going to give Wikipedia a little prop here. They, they have adjusted the material to match now. So they have an addendum of sorts. Uh, this you'll find this information under the Canon legends, Darth Plagueis. But if you go click you'll this is the old one canon legends darth plagueis and of course you know he's gonna have a birth date there born between 147 and 120 bby and then he died 32 bby they both say the same uh death date well not that way uh let's pull that down yeah there you go nope i had already blown up so 32 bby and 32 bby so why are we talking about this well it's the show. <laughs> Darth Plagueis, yeah, Darth Plagueis is basically a baby to a teenager at this time. He's born between 147, teeny, right, 147 to 120 BBY. Uh, on average, on uh, if you Google it, which is, you know, my God, you know, the lightsaber. I'm having like PTSD from the lightsaber. If you Google <laughs> Dark Plagueis birth, you basically get it. It's Wikipedia's first link. And then there it is because Google is a little slow to update. They're a little slower to update than Wikipedia, but it's there. 147 to 120. There's Wikipedia's a couple other. Wikipedia's got a kiss ass. Right. There's a couple other websites. This is a uh, time graphics and they don't use BBY. They use BC. I'm like, right. okay, but they, they do have, they've got it on their timeline before yeah. chewy right, right. <laughs> <laughs> let's go let's go with that uh but i did back back then uh, a few weeks back actually get the strip and then have the whole thing uh taking a picture up and they haven't really changed the legend from they just moved it and it's right. like an addendum now and i think a lot of people will prefer that so good good for you guys at wikipedia i mean i'm glad you're I'm glad you recognized. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you recognized that shell game, but you know. Yeah, but it did it happen? Yes, of course it happened. But yes, they're going to report it, so it's okay. Basically, Plagueis is is one year old to seventeen year old, and uh, he died in thirty two BBY. Nevertheless, um, there's no mistaking this. Headland has him learning how to create life from these witches. So that right. that is happening in this episode. You can't. Uh, you can't shake that at all. So it's like, all right, you know, no problem. So let's get away from Plagueis because that's that's already some weird lore stuff. Uh, the yeah, and just stroke. thrown at us without any further scenes. I mean, I would have been fine if there was another scene that kind of had him, you know, yeah. doing some machination or something like that. Here uh, he is, by the way. To where, yeah, to where we we're getting set up for a second season. But it's just right. like, oh, we see Plagueis. Well, we already knew he was there. Right. We didn't need your little tease. Give us a little something extra. Yeah. Bastards. Well, you you know how she is. She's a blink and you miss it kind of person. That's that's the way Headland writes. It's just Yeah, well, I mean, I mean what I was know. that? Less I, than five seconds. It was really, really, oh, yeah. really, really short. And yeah. I, don't know, I I don't know. I don't it's know why just, she does these things, but it's just it's unsatisfactory from very a unsatisfactory. Lore. That's a very nice way to put it. Yeah, from a lore point of view. Yeah, uh, and then still let let's mess with some other lore. Um, so this is the Force Choke, which is uh, let's go with this one. Good old Saul getting his getting his throat choked up, you know. So. Uh, force choking Saul, uh, killing the person who raised you, not taking the time to think about the information you were just given, acting on your impulse. O uh, OSHA has extreme choke powers, uh, much greater than Vader's, mm -hmm. much greater, just natural ability of choke powers, basically telling him to stop speaking, stop speaking. And she doesn't even have her hand up in, in the beginning. Right. You, you get to see this. I got a little bit of a sequence here, but she's choking him to death. And and then she doesn't even have her hand up. But she's got her hand in the in the maneuver I here. The position. Right. Yeah. yeah. He's on his knees. She's got a finger out. That's it. Yeah. Right, at yeah. this point. But he's he's choking to death. And then I'm like, yeah. all right. And then finally, right before she kills him, she finally raises her hand up. And and I'm like, ah. All right, but just another time where he doesn't get to say what he needs to say. Like there's been like eight times in this show where he gets preempted by something. He was right. stunned one time. He's been force choked this time. Uh, you yeah. know, um, uh, 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 May attacked him in the bed. My, uh, you know, when she was on the bed or whatever, and he was about to tell her. It's just like, come on with this. 
Let this man say something. Right. No. Let him complete a sentence, please. No, no. He learned English just for this. Right. Let the man speak. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, I am going to put this in in, in a, a fast motion. If you want to talk about him or stop me or slow me down, that's fine. But I'm going to stick this in uh, this position. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to stick it here. And then I'm going to go over a few things. And then I'm going to let Sean and Brian just... Uh, Wheel away at this one because I'm going to read this a little fast. But here's some other funny things, odd things, may, maybe even lore breaking things that happened in the episode no. or confusing things. Here we go. May gets out of her restraints by unlocking only one of them with the pip droids. All we see Basil messed up the ship. Why? We don't know. Nobody's answered it yet. Even Leslie. And no, it's nothing in the interview. Friend of the Jedi previous episode. All of a sudden, the enemy of the Jedi. Good writing there and zero explanation. Mind wiping May. Extremely powerful unprecedented don't care about your sister at all do you go. maybe take her with you come on give me a break twins created the force wasted on a mind wipe no need to protect your sister let her just you know be a mind wipe middle schooler about an eight-year-old girl now just reversed her you know episode five chimere they saw my face. I have to kill them. Episode eight, Chimere. I can erase her memory permanently just by raising my hand <laughs> for a few seconds. Sure, that, that happened. Senator Ray in court knows that the Jedi was, all of them were killed and probably more have died. And Vernestra confirms that the Jedi can be out of their peaceful mindset, snapped to a side, like psychological break of an unstable person. And I was like, okay. And then here, just depressing 101. Vernestra where's your freaking whip we didn't even get to see it in the show except to cut a bug the rest of it we saw in a trailer no yep. whip waste whip whip really no really whip. Good. yeah come on so many so many whip scenes in this episode sure especially the one i saw in the trailer right so uh also <laughs> vernestra uh so dishonorable lying to cover up uh, about a close friend of yours it's super not the jedi way just super, super not. Now, I've well, got to know where more Manny points. ended up get, being the way he was, huh? Right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Fall apart from the tree. Well, I had something specific nope. about Vernestra that goes right into that. And go she's right ahead. Described as flagrant, dismissive, and prideful. Obviously, this is done on purpose, but it's also a really lazy way to set up a foil. <laughs> also, like the dialogue when, when she was getting off of the ship at the beginning, she had to say escape ship. Like why? Right. Why was that there? I don't know. I, yeah, I, I see what done with the ship so far is cover them up. Yes, yeah. agreed. And and you know I I hated I hated to be right about this one, but the uh, you go back to our episode one. I believe on the show. Uh, and I talked to you about the Jedi vector starship, which was first appearance. It literally, and, and if you watch it, it, it's the side swiping through the window of a ship and you're, I mean, you get nothing. You get nothing. It, it's true. She, she has no respect for any of that. None of that. And if, if she does show it to you, it's garbage. I mean, it's like, eh, we can, we can just make this crap up. We don't it's garbage it. and you get five seconds of it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. We'll, we'll show you the garbage for five seconds. And if, if it's something cool, we won't even give you eighth of a second, you know, or right. something like that. I'm like, come on. I, so I only, this, uh, this scene, this uh, picture you've got, uh, this is that fight scene. And first thing that caught my eye, there was one where uh, May gets kicked back or something like that and does turn around to the camera. And I'm like, what? Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? I was like, they didn't even, did they try some facial replacement or did they even bother? I don't know. And then you got this shot right here. And it's like, what? What are they doing, man? They're not even trying. I don't even think all the money that we're wondering where they spent it. It wasn't on this either. There you no. go. So when when you don't have twins, uh, you you don't want to leave this in the hands. Uh, I don't want to call her inexperienced, but she doesn't have the experience to handle the twin type situation, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, it's all cutaways. It's all the back of the heads and then stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah, this was bad, but I mean, they had all that money and they could have just done some facial replacement, man. I mean, in this day and age, it's really easy to do. And the choreography in that room, geez, I was like, I, I read somebody somewhere that she had talked about some something about born uh, legacy and whatnot. 
and I'm like, was was this supposed to be her tribute to to the born stuff? It's really bad. <laughs> and yeah. that stance, dude, oh, they get in oh, that yeah. stupid no, stance no, no. where they got in, you know, that when she was going around killing the Jedi or whatever, <laughs> she right. does that thing, you know, defend yourself or whatever. Oh man, I just want to slap uh, her every wow. time I see that stance, and they do it to each other. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, oh no. Like, uh, there's one more thing about, well, no, not more than one more thing, but uh, take your pick. Uh, did they edit, copy, edit, paste anything this episode? Yes. Marvel Mind Wipes from Doctor Strange, maybe. Mother Coral, no death, no or nobody, no death. Savior of May. Guess they couldn't afford to have her come back and give her a, like a connecting scene. Speaking of money, that's what reminded me of it. Right. Uh, right. May had to get sucked into a hole like Luke did in Cloud City when she fell off the, you know, but there was actually, I swear to you, that there was, there was like heat hot air getting it, it there was no it was a push it, science science it was yeah, a push this, motion not a suck motion this that whole was show is one big hole dude right one it big was, sith hole it was crazy i was like what in the world but yeah anyway there was there was more edit copy edit paste you may want to talk about that in this episode but that, that's too off the top of my head uh well the choreography i i pay a lot of attention to the choreography uh, and the music, because those things, I, I usually have an easier time, you know, associating with something I've identified in the past. Um, as far as this, this episode, man. All right. Wire work. I, it was horrible, right? Like, it, it, this was no hit, <laughs> crouching tiger, hidden dragon type stuff. This was just, ugh. Well, I'll say this. Words. I hate wire work. Right, it's the worst. It looks so bad. I said this in episode one with the wire work. It's just like, can you not try and pretend there's some kind of physics involved? I don't care whether they're Jedi or not. Pretend there's some physics involved. This, uh, I have actually seen some wire work in this that was not offensive. Now that falling back thing, hugely offensive because that's right. just, that's just weird. It's yeah. just weird. But. um I agree. Uh, with I've Sean. seen some I, other stuff like the the triple kick that didn't look too bad. It didn't yeah. look like he was hanging off of a wire. Again, he did it. My copy my favorite wire work right. shot in this whole thing you you used as a thumbnail, which was uh, Soul jumping right. over the uh, lightsaber. That is a hell of a scene. Yeah, and it looked the physics were right. That's yeah, why that, it looked good. That would make a great poster. You know that, that yes. that's I mean that's one of the things back in the day that that should have been I guess pushed. But that, I mean you don't have to push that. You know that would have made a great poster for Absolutely. them to show. But no 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 can't put that in the show, especially if you're uh, trying to paint the Jedi bad. Right, yeah. Right. I mean, that's a big thing that they do in this with Vernestra, obviously, right? Yeah. But also Soul and everybody else. Uh, but the choreography also had the blink and you miss it moments. There were there were a couple of really good point, or good choices made in the choreography that were just completely overshadowed by the bad. Um, the first time I watched it, I didn't catch up on the fact that you know when uh, Soul and uh, Manny, uh, Stranger. Uh, we're fighting. It was a hallway scene. And uh, there's a classic movie. Maybe you know of it. Maybe you don't. But it's known for a hallway scene. Some people try to pay tribute. Sometimes it works out. Not so much this time. Uh, also imitating the Matrix. There was a direct shot of like when Neo and Morpheus were, you know, doing their first Kung Fu combat. Um, where, you know, Manny and, and Soul are fighting. and Yeah, Manny rushes, rushes the in. camera. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the boomerang uh, subversion, uh, there were shots from Zatoichi or Zatoichi, however you prefer to pronounce that, the blind swordsman. Uh, but yeah, it's just the worst fight scene, uh, in the history I've seen. And I, I got to see it in stereo, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. Anyway. Yeah, on the end note for me, uh, this is the, the despicable moment, I think, of the show that I think everybody's pretty much, uh, Knows by now, spoiler alert, here it comes. Uh, is uh, you know, this is not mm, Les <laughs> right, Leslie Edlund's wife, uh, playing Vernestra Rowe here, uh, goes and has to have a talk with the master who apparently is now, uh, as of today, as of about nine hours ago, eight hours ago, big old liar. Yeah, Hedlund yeah. has put out how she is saying Yoda is a liar and how she would like to expand on how much of a liar he is and, and how much he is deceiving 
the Jedi, and I guess in congruence with uh, with Vernestra. So uh, this is this is horrible. Uh, I mean, there, there's a freaking statue, a bronze statue of of Yoda in front of Lucasfilm in a fountain area, like right out in front of the building. I mean, mm-hmm. there is. I mean, it, in in real life, you know, this yeah. is an icon, the icon, the icon. This is despicable. This is really despicable. To to I, I understand there might be some complexities with Yoda, but making him out to be a bad guy really you know yeah there's well, there's had to be a jedi conspiracy oh, right all men are bad it didn't have yeah. to be but there does now you know right. uh, with with her if this continues which I, wonder, I really i really hope it doesn't continue and unless you know you guys are interested in doing all this again you know no no not really <laughs> i wonder My if Helen made her wife come home in that makeup one night and just make <laughs> passionate love to her with a whole green face on and ball. i don't want to know the answer to that please don't Tell me. Oh, you know you want to see it, buddy. No, I don't want to see it. Yeah, no, let's be in scissor action, baby. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> On a time that was considered sexy. Right, yeah. Back in the day, the old lipstick lesbians were great. Yeah. A little Skinamax action, a little jailhouse love. Yeah, baby. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Most of you, you, you folks out there might know Anakin's story. He's a forced dyad story. Yeah, y'all remember and, Anakin, right? Yeah, we we've talked about this before. Yeah, and I'll, 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 I'll go back. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's go to this one. This is uh, uh, Revan, Revan and Bastilla. And yeah. this is a good story. I, I don't know how you're going to see it. Maybe maybe you could find a YouTube link that would show you the whole story. Otherwise, you, you're going to have to play like one of the KOTOR uh, games. Yeah. To Well, I think you'd have to. to see Somebody's the whole story. probably put all the cut scenes together on YouTube. Yeah, Just go yeah, search yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KOTOR 2 was just recently free, I, I think, on Prime. Right. Okay. Nice one. Yeah, there you go. Well, uh, you know who Anakin is. So this is Revan on the right and Bastilla on the left. Uh, there's also, uh, I don't think Bastilla was considered a dyad, but Revan was. Uh, so Revan and Anakin's forced dyad stories are now less unique due to this show and less powerful. Uh, creation of two chosen ones. Um, and then uh, immediately Yoda is uh, I mean, immediately Yoda is now assumed to be a conspiring liar. And the reason I told you about Revan and uh, it, it's nice that it connected back to Sean's bit. But the reason I told you about Revan. Well, that's in the Jedi Temple lore. Yoda knows about it. You get it? You know, there mm-hmm. is a prophecy. There is a chosen one. Blah, 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 blah. So that's what that doesn't help with Yoda knowing more about right. the chosen one. I mean, all of it's. This is why KOTOR it's, was 4,000 years ago. So yeah. you can do shit like this and not fuck up the lore. Right. Yeah, but that's... Assholes. Yeah, it's totally disrespected in this TV <laughs> show. Just totally. Anyway, I don't have anything else to say. I can I can tell you what my score is if you want, but you, you just you just let me know. I bet you know. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we know your score. I'm, I'm still tallying mine at the moment. <laughs> you could, it's a decimal points. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there are decimal points involved. Yeah, I give it a point three. I, I'll tell you if you don't want to go to the score, I, I, it's definitely getting a zero from me, guys. I, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. I, I wouldn't recommend it to children. I wouldn't recommend it to adults. I don't know who you could recommend. This I show would recommend to. it. To, I have it. I know who you could recommend okay. it to. Who, who can watch this? You and be could go to a film school. And they could show you what not to do. Not to do. There are many of those, right? Yes. <laughs> So they, 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 there is merit in it for that. Yeah. I, I will say I have finished calculating. I, I think I said negative 6.5 stars. Oh, wow. uh, so that we just get to an even floor of zero. Zero. Uh, for the season. Oh, yeah. Utter garbage. Zero yeah. for me. Uh, it's yeah, just, for the season, oh, 0.3. No way. Yeah. I'm I'm not looking forward. I mean, they, I know this show is not going to really make them any money, and uh, the shills are not paying for it. They're the ones getting paid right. to to promote it. Um, the people that do like it, there's not enough of you to warrant uh, making another one. I'm sorry to say, if they made another one, their audience would be you know really really small. And I, I you know it's it's got that fool me once, shame on you problem to it, which everybody knows how she writes and how yeah. they did this and the quality of what they did to the lore and how anti everything is. I mean, 
man, there's no reason for this to get a second season. Um, but she's talking like uh, she's got ideas. And even today, I, I've got ideas. I want to do well, Plagueis and all this other stuff. And I was like, uh, you come know, close but, with me now. I want to tell you all a secret. Right. I do want a second season. And it's for only one goddamn reason. I need to know what happens with Manny and Plagueis right. and possibly OSHA. But I don't care so much about us. But I mean, it's still I, I really need to know this. You you set this up. So I have to know I will have this second season or fuck you for doing this in the first place. Well, also, we know, assuming a second season does happen for whatever reason, there's no way they're going to get as much funding. Right. Uh, well, uh, there's. Now you're going around a, a baseball. Now you're, you're, I well, would say, yeah, they'll give him more so they yeah, can ride off more. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I agree. If, point, he, like, if he needs a write off, if Bob needs a write off, he'll get it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That That's the point I'm making. <laughs> Hashtag Disney <laughs> There's doesn't be care. more money, right. but it's not going to be for the show. Well, yeah. uh, and we should talk about this next up for uh, Disney is, a branch of Disney. It's it's basically Marvel, but it's not Marvel per, per se. It's 20th Century Fox, which was right. purchased, that owned the rights to Deadpool at it's the time. It's outside that sphere of influence. Yes. So there will be hits to Disney in the dialogue. I mean, it's a rated R movie. It's going to, yeah, it's going to offend people that work at Disney. Um, it's it's going to offend Disney in general and their their persona. Uh, so I don't know I don't know how they let him get away with that, but I, I know Ryan Reynolds said that he was amazed that they did, uh, that they allowed him to get away with all that. Now, Saying all this, it's going to be Disney bashing. This, this is accurate. It is rated R. It probably will break some records. It probably is going to be the most pre-sale ever for a rated R movie. It will probably go over a billion dollars. It will. It will pro- in today's money type of thing. Uh, right. This show costing one hundred eighty million dollars ridiculous. But but Deadpool, uh, Deadpool could easily if, if Deadpool breaks a billion. And it heads into the like 1.2 or 1.3 range. Sure, yeah, there's some there's some money that we can write off for another acolyte right there, um, it, if they really want to do it. But the Andor is coming up next year. We're going to have an Andor, and I bet that they've spent money on Andor, and that's going to be nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet they have because I probably listened to everybody. Hey, man, don't don't do this to Andor again. You know, put put this right. So maybe hey, and you did. jag monkey support Andor this time. Right. You guys were late yeah. to the party, man. Crazy people. Yes. Um, but uh, I think I don't know. I've seen a lot of the complaints in Andor addressed in some of the the later IP. So hopefully Andor can absorb that good stuff and keep the good that was already there. Yes. Right. Um, I, I I did watch Chris Gore and um, uh, a film threat the other uh, was it two days ago. Yeah, but it, it um, they had Gary on, um, and they they talked about. Uh, I think Gary said it uh, that they need to shelve Agatha all along. They really right. need to shelve it. Now Agatha is coming out in October, and uh, that's, that's going to be on Disney Plus. It is obviously it's it's female centric. I the male character that in it is obviously not straight, uh, and it, it's going. To, I I don't I don't know that it's going to come out episode at a time, or if it's going to if they are going to put it out, they may want to put it all out at once, like old right. timey Netflix used to do. Even Netflix one Cobra Kai came out this weekend, and yes, I uh, saw one episode. Yeah, so it's it's like one through five on Cobra Kai this weekend. Yeah, it's so, part one. Yeah, it, it, that's that's more family entertainment than than average. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. How, I really don't want to see them mess up any more lore, and I really don't want to see any of this other stuff. But if if they declare in some fashion or way that that acolyte is parallel universe, I don't care what they do. Well, right. butcher it up and. If you want to build a, 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 you know, a garbage dump in the past that it doesn't have anything to do with the timeline, that's fine. Yep. Uh, which is yeah. what Doctor Who did, which is why I'm not oh, up in arms about that. I just won't fucking watch it. No. And Doctor Who, I also this week, uh, Doctor Who, I believe, has been canceled. I, I do believe. And no. com- I don't think they're coming back with any more of that. So well, I don't know if they could do that because there's a there's another year on the contract. So I don't know how that would float with Disney. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know either. Yeah, they, they pay it out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know. More money. I know, I know but I, I, that sounds like a little premature rumor. It might be though. I mean, they did horribly, but oh, yeah. it did. it's still also like the queen too. It's it's a national yeah. treasure. So it right. did really bad. There is that. Well, they'll call it Disney Doctor Who. They won't call it Doctor oh, Who. Oh, that's what that's what it is. It's I not Doctor Who, dude. It'll, they, it'll when, be when they split his, when they split him off from Tenant, dude. That was it. It was yeah. off on its own, and it's yeah. going to sink on its own. And I hope maybe one day regular Doctor Who could be had again. Man, that would be nice. Happened yeah. before. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe it needs to take another. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Maybe it needs another hiatus. A shorter one, please, right? Yeah, yeah, not that long. Yeah, not that long. Not as many years as it took. It took uh it took a little while last time. Yeah. We don't need to take that long. Maybe five year hiatus. Regroup. Don't let Russell to have it. Don't let any of the regular guys have it. Keep it British. Whatever. We're not here to talk about Doctor Who. Anyway, right. let's wrap this up, guys. We're done with Acolyte. I'm tired of talking about it. Woo. We've given our stars. It's yeah. enough already. And uh yeah, so we're going to get back to some normal old podcast stuff next week and uh, we're just going to talk about whatever so we hope to see you guys then so in the meantime be excellent to each other and remember Brian Joel and I will see you on the flip side thanks everybody have a good one everybody take care alright now guys 